Hello, and welcome to Razor's Edge 7, or Database View, events. Today we're going to talk about the Events Management Module within the Razor's Edge 7 platform, or your Razor's Edge Database View of Razor's Edge NXT. From within the Database View, on your main home screen, you're going to select Events to bring you to the Events Management Module. The event management module in Razor's Edge Database View helps you to manage all aspects of your events. Whether you're organizing a golf tournament, an awards banquet, maybe a trustee luncheon, or a training class for volunteers. You can even track events such as board meetings, holiday parties, or even homecoming activities. All of the information you need from prices and expenses to income generated to participants is kept in one area of your Razor's Edge database. Let's take a look at a specific event record. At the top of the record here, you can see the tabs in which you have information about this event. You can track your event by name and ID, and you can categorize your events either as a sporting event, a dinner, a class, or other. The description field is a free text field for you to further clarify and define what this event is about. And you can see the additional details below that that you can track, your start date and end date, start time and end time. You can enter a location for your event. And if your event has seating, you can set the seating capacity and be able to track how many you have in those seats already and how many seats you still have available. You can associate campaigns with your events and even track revenue towards an event goal. The prices tab is where you can capture the specific registration types or ticket types for your event. You can see for our golf event, we have an individual golfer, a foursome, a few sponsorship options, and some fundraising initiatives that all can be purchased day of or leading up to our event. The gift amount or ticket purchase price is determined by your organization as well as the receipt amount and the amount that defines what is a gift versus what goods or services are received. The comment section is a free text field that you can use to further define the specific ticket types and what's included in each one. Alternatively, on the expenses tab, you can, if you wish, choose to track the specific expenses related to your event. Within the expense type, you can create a drop-down item to categorize and capture all of your specific expenses, how much you've budgeted for each of those categories, and what the actual expense was, when you made a payment, the date you made that payment, and any type of vendor details that are pertinent to the event. At the bottom of the screen here, you can see your total budget for your event and total expenses, and track whether you're over or under or tracking towards that budget accordingly. Within your event, you can also track jobs and assign jobs to specific volunteers at your organization. For this event, for our golf event, I have two job assignment types, special events coordinator and photographer. By clicking into either of these assignment types, I can see the specific details related to this job, the category it falls into, when I need that specific job opportunity filled, and then details about this specific job. This information comes from the volunteer module and can also be tracked on the volunteer module, which is an optional module to add into your Razor's Edge NXT database. The participants tab is where you're going to be able to track all of the information related to your participants for this event. Your participants can be anyone that is invited to your event and then anyone that has RSVP'd or registered for your event. So for Nicholas Vincent here, I can see that he is a golfer. He's paid and registered for this event. And where this event is in the past, he's already attended. I can see that Stephanie Smith here is a golfer who paid for the event and registered, but did not attend our event. You can also track guests of your registrants. So if, for example, someone purchased a foursome and they had three individuals that were their guests to play on their foursome team with them, those individuals will be tied to the original constituent or registrant who purchased that foursome ticket package. 
Sponsors can also be tracked for your event so you can see who, which organizations have sponsored the event and have not taken up a registration. So this means that your event sponsorships are participants of your event, but they're not going to count towards that capacity number unless they've also purchased tickets for your event. Event actions allow you to keep track of the specific activities that your events team are doing or steps they are taking to put on your event. These action records are very similar to the action records for your individual and constituent records within Razor's Edge, with the difference of these are tied to the specific event record versus a constituent record. All of the functionality of a constituent action you can use within an event action. So you can track whether the action was sent, the solicitors assigned to it, the specific categories, and you can also have your configurable drop down action type specifically related to event fundraising and event management. Attributes or custom fields are those additional tables that you can build so that you can further customize or define your specific events. You can see for our categories for our golf event here, we have if there is a rain location, specific prizes that have been donated, and to be able to compare this event amongst others, we have the event success rate, and this is a very successful event for our organization. The media tab is where you can track documents or pictures related to your event. Keep in mind when you are a Razor's Edge NXT client that the media tab converts to the attachments tab. Information in Razor's Edge NXT will no longer be tracked within the media tab, but will be tracked within a specific action record under the attach attachments tab. And lastly, your notes field here is that free text field where you're able to capture additional details about your event in free text. Maybe you'll have newspaper articles that have been written up about your events. Maybe there are specific details about the organization or the venue where you're holding your event or details that you need to know for the day of. You are able to configure your note types as with all notes within Razor's Edge and enter that free text section here to apply to this specific event record. From a constituent record, you are also able to track event information if that constituent has a relationship with one of your events. On Robert Hernandez's record, I can simply click on the events tab to see all of the events that Robert has some sort of association with. For our 15th annual golf tournament, I can see that Robert has paid an amount of $475 and attended this event. If I click into that event, it's going to bring me specifically to Robert's participant record for this specific event. I can see his participation type is a golfer, his status is paid, he was invited on June 1st, accepted that invitation on June 15th, which also marked him as registered in our system. From this participant record, I can also toggle between other events that Robert has an association with or has participated in. I can track specific travel information if that's relevant to my event and that's important for me to capture. I can also see the registration fees and I can see how they've broken out, especially after my event. I can see here that he purchased an individual ticket for $125 with a receipt amount of 50. He purchased five mulligans, which were fundraising opportunities that we offered at our event, so they're fully tax deductible donations. The gift amount was $250 and the receipt amount was $250. I can also see that he purchased five birdies for $100 a piece. This totals $475, which can also link to your gift records. So if I click on the view gift records screen, that will show me the specific gift records that are related to this participant and related to these re registration fees. A participant can also have donations that are assigned to their record. So if there are specific activities that are taken advantage of during your event, you can also enter those in here through that specific donation field so that you can separately track your registration fees and your event donations. Sponsoring pledges are another way where you're able to capture those organizations that are sponsoring your, your event. And again, on this specific event record for your constituent, you can track custom fields or attributes and notes that will help you further define this constituent's involvement with your golf event. In order to globally add constituents to an event, you can come down to your administration tab and you can choose to globally add records. You can globally add constituents to an event as a participant and set their participant options. 
After adding your constituents to an event, you can also globally add appeals saying that you've identified your constituents and sent them an invitation for your specific event. All of this is tracked within the database view of your Razor's Edge NXT or within your Razor's Edge 7 database.